everybody. Uh, so this Ways Mains at the September 16th, and we're uh, having a fairly uh, quick afternoon meeting on a couple of issues. Um, one bill that just came to us from the floor, which is S237. Um, and the other bill, the other bill is a bill that should have come to us, but didn't, um, H952. So I'm going to start with S237. Um, Ellen is here to uh, tell us um, basically what's not in the bill, I think. Um, so I, this is, uh, we've mentioned this a couple, I think I mentioned it this morning in the committee. So we have possession of the bill. Um, it had issues in the Senate version. Um, I think they're out now. I just want confirmation of that. And um, assuming that there's no revenue issues in the bill, my hope is that we can just vote it right back out. So Ellen, with that, can you uh, and be as quick as you feel you need to be to? Um, sure, thank you. So S-237 um, was voted out of House General, and it is uh, significantly shorter than when it came over from the Senate. So I think when it when it came over from the Senate, your committee would have been concerned with the downtown and village center tax credit expansion that was in it. Um, the the bill that was voted out of the Senate contained um, new tax credit for um, neighborhood development areas as well as flood mitigation projects in those areas and those tax credits are not in the bill currently. The bill currently is only seven sections and I think it's eight pages. Um, the first section makes changes to municipal zoning under Title 24, um, expanding the definition of accessory dwelling units and allowing um, municipalities to ban development on uh, small uh, small lots if they are unable to connect to water and sewer. Um, it allows, it uh, in section two, it says that a municipality can't um, deny four unit dwellings solely based on the character of the area. Uh, it also, author, section three authorizes municipalities to regulate short-term rentals in their bylaws. Section four adds language allowing, um, stating that deed restrictions that uh, conflict with municipal bylaws regarding um, these provisions are invalid. Uh, section five, five and six are related to mobile home parks. Uh, section five directs the Department of Environmental Conservation to work with the town of Brattleboro and the Tri-Park Cooperative to implement Tri-Park's master plan, including through loan forgiveness or restructuring. Um, and section six authorizes the state treasurer to use funds available through credit facilities for local investments um, to provide financing to mobile home park infrastructure projects. And the effective date, the bill takes effect on passage. Okay. Um, so at this stage, um, after House General Committee uh, finished amending the bill, there is nothing in the way of tax credits or revenue issues in the bill. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. Um, so uh, committee members, do you have questions or concerns? Jim, Jim Nasland. You're muted. There we go. All right. The tax credits that were that Ellen described, um, it, it sounded to me that those were new. Those were, weren't things that we dealt with previously. That's right. right. Um, That's why they're gone. Okay. Um, and the tax credits that we did in January or February or whatever, they're still alive and well somewhere? Well, that's a different question, but yeah, yes. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure we weren't <laughs> yeah. inadvertently right. um, no. wrecking the work we did earlier. Okay, no. so. No. Um, the, the, it, there was there was a little wrinkle around the work that we did earlier because both Kitty and I thought that we each of the other one was dealing with the oh, okay. authorizing language and neither of us had done it so I think it's going into the Senate budget. Um, that, that that makes sense to me. Um, I'm just curious if the if General took the new tax credits out primarily because of budget reasons or they just didn't have time to deal with them. Do we we had looked at them early on. We hadn't endorsed them. Um, yeah. uh, and um, the decision was made early on to, uh, I don't know what that ringing is. Is it me? I hope not. Um, to not um, 
uh, not do things in this budget that we had decided not to do in March. Okay. So it's sort of the status quo. Um, um, I understand. Let me yeah. see. I'm sure that the concept will come back next yeah. year. Right. Okay. And there'll be time to have a, a longer look at it. Okay. I'm, I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. Bill and Emily. Yeah, I'm wondering what the vote of the uh, committee was. Uh, I don't happen to know. Ellen, do you happen to remember? Um, I believe it was nine to one. That's too many people. So maybe it was just nine two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not unanimous. This came from general, House general? Yeah. Um, and it's it's basically a zoning bill at this point. I mean, the, there is content to it, um, but it's not revenue kinds of questions. Emily and Peter. Um, I wanna say on revenue related, thank you to Ellen for her work on this. And I'm really pleased with this bill and glad it's going to move forward to the floor likely. Hopefully, okay, Peter. I'm fine, thank you very much. Okay. Um, would somebody make a motion on the bill? I will. Oh, wait, there's a fiscal note. I'm sorry, Graham, you have a fiscal note, right? I do have a fiscal note, <clears throat> although sorry, it doesn't say, I've seen it, it doesn't say yeah. much of anything. Um, <laughs> it, it just says that there's no fiscal impact in this bill. I mean, when I, when Sorsha said it was coming to the committee, I looked at it and I was confused about why I, we were writing a fiscal note for it, but there were tax credits in this bill when it came over. So yeah. it made sense why it ended up in the committee. Um, yeah, no fiscal impact uh, associated with the bill. There's the, the section about the, the treasurer has this existing um, lending facility using the state's cash reserves. And to the extent that the bill um, enables the treasurer to use this facility to, um, to make loans um, to uh, mobile home parks for infrastructure and to the extent that those loans um, yield a positive return, um, then that would get returned to the state's cash um, account. So that's the only potential minor fiscal thing. No, no tax, no revenue, no general fund um, right. in the traditional Good. sense. Good. Uh, so now I need a motion. Um, Somebody move the bill out favorably. Oh, okay, Emily's. Uh, uh, I'll second it. We move it out favorably. Uh, Peter has seconded it. And Robin, are you ready to call the roll? Just finishing writing here. Moves the bill out favorably. And Pam, I don't know whether you had a chance to hear the presentation, but basically everything that was tax related has been taken out of the bill. So it came to us because it, there were tax issues in the Senate version. So I, I said we would try to move move it back out onto the floor quickly since it comes to us under the rule, but we don't okay. really have anything to do. Um, so, uh, so there's a motion to vote it out favorably and Robin's gonna call the roll. Okay, Representative Anthony. Yes. Representative Beck. Yes. Not sure who's here. Representative Brennan. Yes. Representative Donovan, not here. Representative Kornheiser. Yes. Representative Masland. Jim, you have to unmute and vote. He's on the phone. Yeah. Uh, I will come back to him. Representative Shai is a yes. Representative Till. Yes. Representative Young is not here. Representative Canfield. No. Representative Ansel. Yes. Uh, can we get Jim? I'm trying. I know. Jim, Jim you need to vote. Unmute, please, and vote. Yes. Thank you. Sorry, I mean, I mean. Okay, so. 812. It's kind of a, a weird vote, so I had to think about it's that. Kind of a weird one. 812. Good. 812. Thank you, everybody. Um, Emily, would you report it? So uh, what you, Sorsha will help you get the materials up to the clerk and uh, keep an eye on it because things are not necessarily happening the way I think they are. Um, so is that all right? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good. 
Um, so you have the vote, uh, Emily, right? So you're set on it. Okay. Eight one two. Yeah. Eight one two. Um, and um, did Ellen leave? No, she's still there. Thank you. Um, so I think you get to leave us. Yeah. <laughs> um, so H952, did you get hold of anybody to present that, Sersha? Um, no, nobody has responded. Do you want me to set it up for tomorrow morning? No, because it's, it, well, I guess so. It'll just have to come into the committee then. Um, okay, yeah, I, I emailed Tucker and, and Dan, um, but they, okay. they have not responded. That's fine, that's fine. It, it does have revenue. Um, so it's supposed okay. to be in the committee. And I thought we could just do a look at it this afternoon, but if we don't have anybody to explain it, we'll, um, we'll do it tomorrow. That's it. Anybody have anything else? George. So I'm looking at the notice calendar for tomorrow, it looks like we're gonna have quite the afternoon with the miscellaneous tax bill and the, um, Frontline employees, um, COVID stuff, and are we? Do you know if we're doing the veto override tomorrow? Yeah, two o'clock. No, I'm sorry. Tomorrow is tomorrow's Thursday. Thursday. Tomorrow's Thursday. Yeah, two o'clock tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, so it could be quite a long afternoon. And cannabis. And cannabis. Right. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, find a comfortable place. Pack snacks. Uh, don't make dinner plans. <laughs> don't make dinner plans. Um, it's um, it's supposed to be cold tomorrow too. So there you go. Um, I don't know whether we'll um, try to pull together quickly. If uh, just in this last week or two, we're occasionally going to have to do this. So um, just thank you for. Should, should we take a position on the tampon tax? Right now? No. Yeah. Are you, I don't think we, uh, um, it's, is it on the calendar? It will be. Uh, let's wait till it gets on the calendar. Pardon me? I mean, let's on the wait calendar till it tomorrow. Gets on the calendar. Well, the, the, we don't have, wait, I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're missing two people. We're missing Sam, Sam and Joey. Um, we're meeting tomorrow morning. I'd rather do it tomorrow morning. That's fine. That's and I've fine. had a chance to get somebody in here and so on. Um, so we'll do it. Then. Okay. Oh, that was. Is there something for us to look at? Checking in on me. Um, yeah, you could look at. I mean, it will be in the calendar when it comes out tonight, I think. But you could also look at the wording comes from um, S. 237, I want to say, maybe sure. That was the House bill. It, the, the Senate version was better than the House version. So that's what's going to be the amendment. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. Well, actually, no, I mean, I'll have to look at what the Senate number is. Yeah, let, let's do it tomorrow when there's a little bit of time to prepare. I think it'll be better. All right. Okay. All right. And if there's other amendments in the calendar, we'll do those. So um, I don't have other um, items on the agenda for tomorrow, um, but we will meet at nine is when we're scheduled. Is that right, Sorsha? Yes, nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. So, um, and we'll meet as long as we need to, to uh, get our work done. So, Bill. Uh, S-124. That, right. that didn't get sent to us today. It did not. Um, I think they still have testimony on it tomorrow morning. Yeah. Okay. So they're still working right. on it. Yeah. Oh, Janet. Um, Tucker is coming in right now. Do you want to look at 952? Um, I, sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, if he's coming in, sure. 
I think we're, I think we should take possession of the bill anyway. Um, so we'll we can hear about it right now. I think we'll uh, get it referred in here here um, tomorrow, regardless, and then we can move it out fairly quickly. So George. Um, so the bill number that the tampon tax amendment is comes from is S two seven six. And Tucker Anderson just popped on. <laughs> Tucker is here to talk about um, the charter bill that we should have gotten possession of that should have come in the committee. Um, so we'll talk about the tampon tax tomorrow when we have the language in front of us. Okay, uh, Tucker. Yes, Madam Chair. So, um, so I was listening to the report on the floor and there was discussion of tax rates. And I said to the speaker, I said, how come that didn't come in here? And I think it was an oversight. Um, so we may just take possession of the bill tomorrow anyway, but um, since we have you here, um, thought maybe you could explain uh, what's in the bill and so that we'll be as prepared as we can be to deal with it tomorrow. Absolutely. Uh, the charter amendment that contains the tax adds a new section 102 F to the Burlington City Charter. Uh, in that section, a uh, tax on the grand list is authorized. It would be levied uh, by the city council and assessed upon the grand list um, in an amount not to exceed one cent on the dollar. So 1% there. Um, however, there is a clause that allows a greater rate to be instituted in a given year if it's authorized by the voters. Uh, this housing trust uh, exists in Burlington. Um, it is reflected in their city ordinances and it is currently funded by a mixture of uh, specially designated funds, um, impact fees, um, certain in lieu payments, um, I can send the committee uh, when my testimony is over uh, a link to their city ordinances where it lists how the fund is established and maintained. So I, you said one cent on the dollar, but I wasn't sure on what, on what, what are they taxing? Uh, property, property, grand list. energy, what is it? <laughs> What's getting taxed? Property, Income property grand property. list in the city. I didn't hear what it was. I just heard one cent on the dollar and I didn't know no, what it was. It's okay. per hundred on the grand list, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so uh, we'll look at it uh, tomorrow when we get it. And um, I just need to know if, if there's anything that committee members um, need in the way of information in order to be able to act on it. I think the Barry parts of the bill are, uh, there's no revenue in those as far as I can tell. Um, it's just Burlington. Okay, okay well, we'll um, I'll, I'll check in with the speaker about what, how she wants to manage it, but um, yeah. we will figure out a way one way or the other. Um, and this is a House bill, it's not been to the Senate yet. Is that right? Or That is correct. This is a House bill. Okay. Okay. Uh, anything else anyone has? I have something unrelated to this bill. I'm sorry, I didn't just raise my hand. But... You what? Sorry, I didn't just raise my hand. Sorsha, is there a word version of 237? You're just trying to get the information for the clerk. Mm -hmm. That's right, that happened to me yesterday. I'll email Sorsha, it's okay. okay. All right, good. Anything else for the committee? Okay, I'll see you tomorrow, nine o'clock. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.